Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Ramadan Mubarak. Ramadan Kareem, inshallah. Welcome to another of Ikra's first ever young person's Ramadan show. I'm your host, Abul Hasnat. I hope your Ramadan has been going well. Hope you enjoyed our very first program that we did earlier in the Ramadan. This is our second one. We're only doing three for this special, special program called Joyful Ramadan because we want to talk to you young people to see how much joy you get from Ramadan. Um, I've got four new people with me. Well, I say four new people, actually three new people and one, one of my guests decided to return back. So Alhamdulillah, I'm, I'm glad to have all four of them. So I'm going to move over to my four guests and I'm going to allow them to introduce themselves. Well, first and foremost, welcome you four. I'm going to ask for you each one by one to look into the camera, give salam to your audience, tell them your name and your age. So young man on the far side, when you're ready, go ahead. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Omar and I'm 10 years old. Welcome Omar. Omar is one of our regular guests in our normal TV show throughout the year, Islam the Way of Life. And Omar's been very helpful in coming along to do this show with us, um, Joyful Ramadan. So thank you Omar for coming along. Young man there, second young man. Give salam to everyone, tell them your name and your age. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Suleiman and I'm 9 years old. Welcome Suleiman, another member of our Islam the Way of Life um, TV show, which Suleiman is a regular member of with um, Omar. So he's been very, very um, generous to join us this Ramadan um, for this special program. Thank you, Suleiman and Omar. Um, young man, when you're ready, do salam to everyone. Tell them your name and your age. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Musa and I'm 10 years old. Musa, 10 years old. Welcome, Musa. A first time guest for us. Um, and I, you're friends with Omar and Suleiman, aren't you? Okay, and lastly, I have a returning guest from our first show. Young man, do salam to everyone, remind them your name and remind them your age. Assalamu alaikum, my name is Riaz and I'm nine years old. Riaz has joined us back um, having done the first show with us. So good to have you back, Riaz. Right, so what do we have in store for you? Well, it's a very simple Ramadan program that I have, Joyful Ramadan, where I just ask my four guests to give me a special performance, something that they want to do. I'm not going to judge them. I'll leave the judging for you guys to do at home, um, but I'm going to allow them to be free to do something that they enjoy. So I'm going to go over to my art guests, I'm going to get them all four of them to tell me what they're doing, and then I'll let one of them get started. So, Omar, what are you going to do for us today? I'm, I'm, <coughs> I'm going to give some facts about Tarawi. So you're going to give us a talk and give us some facts about Tarawi. Very good. Suleiman, how about yourself? I'm going to do five Ramadan hacks. Five Ramadan hacks. Wow, I'm looking forward to that. I hope you guys are home as well. I like that. Hacking Ramadan. Very good. Thank you. Musa, what are you going to do for us? I'm going to do Surah Abasa. Musa's going to recite for us Surah Abasa. Oh, I'm looking forward to that. We had um, three recitations in the last show, so good to have Musa to do um, a recitation. Riaz, you did us for us um, Surah Naziat. You read from the Quran and from your choose Amma last time. What are you going to do for us this time? Surah A'la. Surah A'la from his heart. So Riaz has memorized Surah A'la and he's going to recite that for us. Good inshallah. So I'm looking forward to your four performance. I hope you guys at home are also looking forward to their four performances. I think this is the month of Ramadan, it's the month of Quran, so we are going to go with Quran first. So, um, who shall I go to first? I think you're ready to go first Riaz. You're the experienced one. Of this show. So when you're ready, um, Riaz, I want you to look into the camera, sit up straight, puff up your chest to get as much air in so you can recite as loud as you can. And when you are ready, give us Surah Ala Riaz. <laughs> والذي قدر فهدى والذي أخرج المرأة فجعله غثاء أهوى سنقرئك فلا تنسى إلا ما شاء الله إنه يعلم الجحر وما يفى وأنه يسرك اليسرى فذكر إن نفعت الذكرى سيذكر من يخشى ويتجنبها الأتقى الذي يسلى النار القبرى ثم لا يموت فيها ولا يحيا قد أفلها من تزكى وذكر اسم ربه فصلى بل تؤثرون الحياة الدنيا والآخر خير ما بقى إن هذا لفسه في الأولى سوف إبراهيم وموسى 
Sadaqallahu al-Aliyul Azim. MashaAllah. It's very brave of Riaz. It's the second time that he's performed for us here. And it's very hard to come and do this performance on, on TV. So a huge, huge well done to Riaz. Um, I really enjoyed that, Riaz. I think it sounds great. Hopefully you get to go home and see yourself again and get to review it as well. And inshallah, we all make dua. I hope you guys at home are going to join in and making the dua for Riaz to be an amazing reciter as he continues to practice. Thank you very much, Riaz. I really enjoyed that. Okay, mashallah. Right, Musa. You're going to do for us Surah Abasa, aren't you? Yeah. Inshallah. Have you had a lot of practice on that? Yeah. Is it the Surah you're on right now? Or is it one that you learned quite a long time ago? One that I learned like some time ago. Some time ago. Okay, Musa, when you're ready, look at the camera for us, Musa, and give us Surah Abasa. A'udhu billahi minash shaytani rajim Bismillahi r-Rahmani r-Rahim Abasa wa tawalla Anja'ahu al-Ama Wa ma yudhrika la'allahu yazzakka Aw yazzakkaru fatanfahu al-dhikra Amma man istawna Fa'anta lahu tasadda Wa ma alayka alla yazzakka Wa amma man ja'aka yasa Wa huwa yakhsha فأنت عنه تلهى كلا إنها تنكرة فمن شاء ذكره في صحف مكرمة مرفوعة مطهرة بأيدي سفرة كرام برة قتل الإنسان ما أكفره من أي شيء خلقه من نطفة خلقه فقدره ثم السبيل يسره ثم أماته فأقبره ثم إذا إذا شاء أنشره كلا لما يقض ما أمره فلينظر الإنسان إلى طعامه أنا صببنا الماء صبا ثم شققنا الأرض شقا فأنبتنا فيها حبا وعنبا وقدما وزيتونا ونخلا وحدائك غلبا وفاكهة وأنبا متاعا لكم ولينعامكم فإذا جاءت الصلاة يوم يفي المرء من أخي وأمه وأبي وصاحبته وبني لكل امرئ منهم يومئذ شأن يغني وجوه يومئذ عليها غمرة ترهقها خترة أولئك هم الكفرة الفجرة صدق الله العالي الذي ما شاء الله very long surah a very difficult one so well done Musa I'm going to ask you to about the, your Quran recitation, your practice, and how you do it at home later. Okay, um, right. I hope you enjoyed those two Quranic recitations. Um, I'm looking forward to now the two talks that we have. So I'm going to come over to Omar Suleiman, both of you, or well, it could be one person if you think about it online. But that's a joke aside. Who wants to go first? I like that they gazed at each other. And they thought, who's going to go first? Have you decided? Uh, you could use hacks. Okay. Omar's thrown Suleiman right into it and said, do the hacks. So, inshallah, before I, uh, you get started, you okay? You ready for this? Yeah. Your first ever talk, Suleiman, yeah? Mm -hmm. Inshallah. Everyone at home, Suleiman is here to share hacks of Ramadan. So... Without any further ado, I shall pass over to Suleiman and enjoy the hacks. Away you go, Suleiman. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Whoever prays at night in Ramadan in hope and faith, all of the past sins will be forgiven. Let's make the most out of every moment. Inshallah, here are five useful Ramadan hacks for us kids. Hack number one. Be organized. Make a Ramadan timetable and add it to your daily routine. Hack number two. Help out. Get extra bonus rewards by helping your parents. Hack number three. Learn a new fact every day. Use this month to develop your slant knowledge using achievable steps. Hack number four. Organize a, organize a family charity day. Use iftar gatherings to raise, to raise money for the needy. Hack number five. Hacks into habits. Turn your hacks into lifetime habits and add these to your, to your routine. Finally, don't waste food, especially the biryani. 
That was brilliant. I hope you at home enjoyed that. I think I, I found those hacks very helpful. Well done, Suleiman. That was really good. And I really like the way you came with your props. That's brilliant. Right. I'm going to ask you more questions later because I'm going to go over to you, Omar. Because, Omar, you have a very difficult one to do, don't you? You want to talk about Tarawih and you yeah. want to share some, <coughs> share some facts about Tarawih, don't you? Yeah. Okay. Well, everyone, when you're ready, this is Omar sharing it to us some facts about Tarawih. Take it away, Omar. Assalamu alaikum. Bismillah, alhamdulillah. Assalatu wassalamu ala rasulillah wa ala ali ashabi ajma'in amma ba'd. Today my topic is um, Tarawih. As, as Ramadan is now and Tarawih is every day in Ramadan. <coughs> Did you know that in Makkah, after every four rakats um, of Tarawih, they would do, they would do a tawaf around the Kaaba. Now there was a group called, there was a group in Medina that want that w- that wanted to um to catch up with the uh, with the with the people in Mecca so they did four rakat after every rakat after every four rakat Tarawi means resting because uh, as cuz after every four rakat they re- rested the, n- the name Tarawih never came from the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, neither the Sahabas. It came from, pe- from the people called the Taibun, also known as the followers of the Sahabas. Thank you very much, Omar. Some quick, short facts about Tarawih. That's good. Okay, so I had four very diverse performances today, mashallah. I had um, two Quranic recitations from heart and two sh- quick, short burst talks. Nasihas, reminders um, for Ramadan. So, alhamdulillah, hope you guys at home enjoyed this. Now I'm going to question these guys about what they've done for us. So, join in with me to see what they say about me questioning what they did. Right, Riaz, you recited Surah A'la. Well, I'd like to ask you some personal questions. How long did it take you to memorise that Surah? Um, it didn't really take me that long. It took me that about a couple of days because when I when I start reading a surah fluently, it just comes in my head naturally. Alhamdulillah, that's an amazing gift to have from Allah, and you just hear it and you remember it straight away. Is this a surah that you hear very often in the masjid? Uh, not really. No, I, it's you just, don't. It's just that I like reading the surah. Do you know much about this surah? Not really. Okay. Um, who wants to help out Riyaz? Surah Ala. Who wants, can somebody else tell me more about Surah A'la? Well, first question, which juz is it in? Juz 30. Juz 30, Juz Very good. Um, here's a really difficult question. What number Surah is it? Surah A'la. Do you know what Surah number it is? 30. No. Close. Anybody else? Is that close? It's not even close, I'm afraid. I'm just going to guess. Okay, Omar. 90. 90. Suleiman, any guesses? Uh, 42. 42 and? 120. 120, wait, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Well, wait, wait, wait. Guess, guess. Right. well, I'm going to tell you guys, let me answer all of you guys. Surah Atlas is in Juzamma, so it can't be too low of a number. Neither can it be more, there's What's only 114 surahs, so it can't be 120. Oh, wait. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, yeah, I thought it was four. Yeah? You say 53. Okay. You guys at home, guess it, guess it without looking, because I couldn't. It's Surah 87. That's so good. Surah 87, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, does anyone know what Surah A'la or the word A'la means? No? Do you guys at home know? A'la means high. Sabbihi isma rabbikal A'la. Allah the most high. Okay. Here's a real <laughs> tricky question. Let me see if you guys at home know this tricky question. Surah A'la, the first ayah, Sabbihi isma rabbikal A'la. Do you use that word anywhere in your salah? I know. Go on, Omar. You, it's, when, it's when you're in sujood, you say Subhana Rabbi Al A'la. Very good. Yes, in your sujood, you say Subhana Rabbi Al A'la. Did you know Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in a hadith in um, Sahih Muslim said that Surah A'la, the, re- the revelation that Surah inspired him to say Subhana Rabbi Al A'la in, um, in sujood. And he said for in Ruku, which is from Surah, subhanallah, I've completely forgotten. 
But one of the surahs where the last ayah is فَسَبِّ بِسْمِ رَبِّكَ الْعَظِيمِ Help me out, Umar. It was Surah Haqqa. Surah Al-Haqqa. At the end of Surah Al-Haqqa, فَسَبِّ بِسْمِ رَبِّكَ الْعَظِيمِ That inspired the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to do Surah Al-Rabbi Al-Azim at Rukuh. So there's another fact about Surah, surah A'la. Okay, um, Musa, you did for us Abasa. Okay, do you want to tell us, do you want to share with us anything about Surah Abasa? Uh, How many ayahs does it have? That I know without looking, but let me see if you guys know. know. Someone help him. I know. 41. 41? 40. 40. 42. 42. Who was right? Him. So you think Suleiman was right? The answer is 42 ayah. I hope you got that at home as well. Amma yatasa, the last, uh, the first surah of Jews, Amma has 40. Naziat has how many? Uh, 45. Nearly 46. 45. And then Abasa has 42. <coughs> so two long, three long surahs at the end of, at the beginning of Jews, Amma, all in their 40s. Alhamdulillah. Um, Actually, I didn't, I didn't ask you some personal questions, Musa. How long did it take you to memorize Abasa? I think like two weeks. Two weeks, because it's quite a long one, isn't it? Is there any ayah that you hear and it reminds you, or you know the meaning of, and you always remember it? So, can you think of any ayah that you know the meaning of? Um, if I say one of the ayahs, what ummihi wa abi, what does that remind you of? Peace. You think it's peace? No, peace. Bees. What does that mean? The Ummah. The Ummah close? Okay. What Ummihi wa Abi? Your mother and your father. Ummi Abi. Arabic word for mother and father. Okay. What Suahibatihi wa Bani? Your friends and the people. I might be wrong about that second ayah, but the first one, Ummihi wa Abi, mum and dad. So every time you, you say Surah, Al, um, surah A- A- Abasa, when you get to the ayah, it refers to the mother and the father. Okay? Uh, do you want to share anything else about Surah Abasa? No. What Surah number is it, guys? You at home. Can you guess straight away what Surah number Abasa is? I need to check. I've forgotten. I think I know what it is. 90. You think it's 90? Musa, what Surah number do you think it is? No, I changed my mind. Go on, change your mind too. So, um, 100 and... Wait, no, no, not 100. Wait, is there 100 and... Stay in 90 because you're closer. Is it 120? There's 114 surahs in the Quran, but stay on 90 because you're closer. Okay, 90. 90? Go on, Suleiman. 94. 94? 80. 80? 90. 92. The correct answer is... Omar is right, it's 80. Surah 80 is Surah Abasa. Alhamdulillah. So I hope you guys at home managed to catch some of these questions. Um, tricky questions, but they're not a number of questions and they're quite fun to do. So it just helps you remember where the Quran is and which ayahs. Right, um, Suleiman, share which one was your favourite hack out of all of the hacks that you shared with us? Hmm. Be organised. Be organised. What do you guys think of that? Is that a good hack? Um, I'm going to let Musa choose. Musa, which of Suleiman's hack do you like? Or do you think is really helpful? Learn a new fact every day. Hold on to it. Grab it for us. Grab the one that you like. That's Musa, hold that up for us. Let Musa hold that one up for us. Suleiman, you hold up your be organised. Riaz, you want to choose a hack? Um, no. You've got five, two Help and out. four. Huh? Help out. Help out. Okay, pass that one over to Suleiman. Omar, you choose one. Organise a family charity day. And I'm going to have one then. I'm going to have hack five. Hacks into habits. So let's hold it up for everyone to see. Alhamdulillah. These are some amazing hacks. Suleiman, I really like those hacks. And I like this last one. Turn your hacks into lifetime habits and add these to your steps and your routines. So I hope you guys at home um, enjoyed these hacks and I uh, hope they were helpful to you. So, Mum, well done. You made these all yourself, didn't you? Did you get any help from anyone? My mum. Your mum? That's brilliant. Thank you, mum at home. Thank you, Sul- Ummi Suleiman. Really helpful <coughs> these hacks. And it's brilliant because it helped Suleiman have his speech at the back. So, he had the hack here and then his speech was at the back. So, well done. Right, let's all pass these back to Suleiman for brilliant. 
Omar, you chose such a hard topic. Taraweeh. And I have to help you out a bit because you said people in Makkah did tawaf between every four. So we have to clear that, meaning they don't do it anymore. But when Taraweeh first, in the initial few hundred years, when Taraweeh first came out, isn't that when they did it? Yeah? Yeah, I meant, I, was, I meant in the past. In the past, yeah. So Omar said, said, shared a beautiful <coughs> fact with us, a historic. Maybe not everybody knows this. So at the very beginning, when Taraweeh became a regular act in Ramadan um, for the initial Tabi'un, Omar referred to them as the Tabi'un, um, they did Taraweeh, 20 rakah, but after every four, they took a break, which is where the, where the word Taraweeh comes from. Taraweeh means break. And is that, am I right with that, Omar? Yeah. yeah. And so they took a break by doing tawaf. And so when they took a break to do tawaf, they got the extra worship. So then there was a group in Medina, wasn't there? And they heard about how the people in Makkah, after every four rakah, took a break and did tawaf. And they wanted to do something equal. Or they also wanted to do some ibadah, but they knew they couldn't do tawaf because they were in Medina. So after every four rakah, they prayed an extra four rakah. So in total, they prayed 36 rakah. Am I right, Omar? Yeah. So in the early days, there was a group of people in Medina who did 36 rakah of taraweeh just so that they can keep up with the 20 rakahs that were doing in Makkah with four sets of tawaf, of seven tawaf. So 28 tawaf and 20, uh, 28 tawaf and 20 rakahs of taraweeh done by the Makkans and 36 rakahs were done by the Medinans of that early stage. Doesn't happen anymore, does it, Omar? Yeah, it doesn't happen. Can you guys imagine doing 36 rakah of taraweeh? In fact, mums and dads at home, big brothers and big sisters, imagine doing 36 rakah of taraweeh and the next day you've got a 9 to 5 job. SubhanAllah. Tough times. Actually, but, there, oh, no, there was one more fact. It's not confirmed, but, pe but the, there might be some people that still do 36 rakah. There might be. Wow, that could be true. I've heard, but I don't know if it's true, Maybe mums and dads, look, look into it on the internet, look into speaking to Maulanas and Sheikh. Maybe there's a group in North Africa, or there are some Muslims in North Africa, of the, of, of, of the, uh, of the, uh, of the Sunni Muslims, that still do 36 rakah because they follow that opinion. I think, and I might be wrong, so please don't quote me, I believe it's the opinion of um, Imam Malik. So, inshallah, thank you, Omar. Those are wonderful facts, and it was a tough topic you chose. Well done for doing your research. Where do you find out these facts, do you mind me asking? I found it on a, uh, on a video called Fikul Salah's Tarawi by, the, by, by a famous uh, person called Yasser Qadi. SubhanAllah. <coughs> Thank you very much, Omar. That's amazing. Omar learned that from Fikul Salah by Yasser Qadi on YouTube. Guys, that's all we have time for. But hope your Ramadan's good. I didn't get to ask you how your Ramadan is and how your iftar is because we've run out of time. Inshallah. Hope you at home enjoyed our four performances, some beautiful Quranic recitation and some wonderful um, hacks of Ramadan and facts of Taraweeh. Uh, inshallah, I look to see you maybe on our final program next week when we do this amazing um, program, Joyful Ramadan. Until then, enjoy your Ramadan with your family, enjoy your iftar with your family and I, I wish you a very easy Ramadan and look forward to seeing you next week. Until then, Ramadan Mubarak, Ramadan Kareem. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.